Hey, hey. So today you're joining me on the Criblem Spur, which is uh, on the northern Carnarvon here in Snowdonia. Uh, it's a grade one scramble. We've got some snow on the route today, um, so uh, it could have a bit of winter mountaineering on it. Um, and the plan is to show you the scramble and then fly off the top. At the moment, we've got quite a bit of cloud about, um, but it is slowly lifting and uh, the forecast is for sunset to be really clear, really light winds, so it should be stunning. Um, so I'm really hoping that that's what we get because at the moment it's not flyable and I'm going to be walking up into the cloud. So uh, fingers crossed. So it's mid-April um, and we've had some, uh, some snow over the last few days often called the lambing snows because it coincides with the time the farmers are letting the lambs out in the fields uh, and it's not good for the lambs. A bit of a shock I'd imagine. Um, and uh, you join me at the bottom of the route and this is where the scrambling starts. So I've come equipped with ice axe and crampons just in case. I actually bumped into a friend of mine on the way, he was on the way down as I was on the way up and he ended up not needing either of those things today but the reality is you just don't know till you get here. So I put them in, a little bit of extra weight but it beats that, that fear of wishing you had them. When you, uh, when you haven't got them, which is a horrible feeling. <laughs> so this is uh, Christmas tree slab. And you can, uh, you can see why from the camera angle. Oh, just a little bit greasy today. Keep me on my toes. Hopefully literally. So it's brightening up as I gain height, which is exactly what the weather forecast said would happen and exactly what I'm after. So that's good news. And it's not, uh, it's not really wintry underfoot. You can see we've got these, got these patches of snow, but uh, they're not causing me a problem. Certainly don't feel the need to put my crampons on or have my axe in my hand yet. So happy days. So still got some good scrambling to go, but at six o'clock it's dark. Well, sunset's just after eight. The wind, I need a northerly or a northwesterly for takeoff. And that's due to, that's forecast to be that sort of direction at seven. But then it's shifting around to more an easterly by eight. So I'm a little bit against the time. So I'm gonna crack on a bit now. Some mileage up to the top. Some more snow here. We've got uh, we're at the top of quite a steep gully here as well. Quite a steep drop. It's the sort of slope where if you were to slip and couldn't stop, it would be uh, be really serious. So just a good place to have the axe in my hand as I come across. There's a good line of steps actually. There's been people ahead of me, but. So this is the this is the summit of Carnith David, and as you can see, it's not uh, not the visibility I was hoping for, but uh, I'm going to push on down, and then hopefully we'll come out of the cloud, and we might find somewhere we can 
we can take off and fly from. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so I've had to walk down from the summit a bit. It's brought me down out of the cloud and out of the snow. Um, and uh, I'm onto grass now as well, which is just much easier. I've flown off the summit of Carnith Dallas before, and it's a tricky launch because it's really rocky. I was hoping the snow might help today, but uh, in actual fact, there wasn't enough coverage to be helpful. And I didn't have the visibility anyway. So uh, just looking for a launch spot. And next time you see me, we'll be in the air. Look at that, stunning, absolutely stunning, fantastic, wow. <laughs>